Today I'm going to show you how to remove the ABS unit out of a Toyota 4Runner. This one in particular is a 2004. So uh, what we've done is remove the seat so that we can get a better angle for the camera. But the first thing you need to do is move the driver's seat all the way back, as far back as it'll go, so you can have enough room to get under there. The next thing you want to do is pop open the hood and disconnect the battery, which again we've already done. The tools that you're going to need is a ratchet, some extensions, a 10 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket, a swivel, which is a universal socket because it pivots, and a 10 millimeter wrench. Now we're going to go ahead and begin to remove the unit. The first screws that come out are going to be this one and this one over here. 10 millimeter. Normally, I use my electric gun, and I can get this done in pretty much 10 or 15 minutes. But we're going to do it with hand tools because I'm sure that's what the majority of you have. The next thing we're going to do is pull back on the cable, flip it up, and then there's a slot and it slides out. The same thing over here, pull on the cable, get it out of the track, slide it out, and this whole thing comes out. You're going to disconnect the track button, disconnect this ventilator, and you can pop this over here. The next part that we're going to remove also with the 10 millimeter is going to be this shield. So this is the first screw. That's the second screw. set that aside. Now here's where the tricky part is and people get a little confused. What you're going to want to do is release the fuse box. There's a nut here, a nut up here, and a bolt right here. It sits on studs, you're just going to want to get it off of the studs and move it a little sideways here. And now you're going to release the ABS computer, the secondary traction control computer. There's a nut down here, also 10 millimeter. Going to need a longer extension for that one. want to make sure that the nut doesn't fall behind the carpet because it becomes a pain in the butt. Then in between the, the fuse box and the dashboard there's another hidden 10 millimeter nut up there and again with the longer extension and the 10 millimeter That one doesn't generally fall behind the carpet. You don't want to tug on the computer and move it out of the way. <clears throat> now that I've got all this junk out of the way, I'm going to give you a close up. That's the pin and the clip for the brake pedal. So you want to pull on it. 
and then pop the pin out. It's kind of awkward, but here's the pin. And there's the clip. I'm gonna try and turn on the flashlight here so you guys can probably see better. And then there's uh, two nuts on this side of the pedal against the firewall that hold the unit. And then two on this side that hold the unit. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those out now. It's a bad angle, kinda hard to see. There's one and there's the other. I like to do the hardest one first, which is gonna be this one in the top left side. I'm gonna go on through here. Oh, let's get the swivel socket on there. You want to make sure that these don't fall behind the carpet either. Sometimes the threads are clean enough to where you can finish it the rest of the way by hand. There's one. Now the next difficult one is the one on the top left. Like I said, I like to do the difficult ones first. Gotta sneak your hand in there. And grab the nut. Now we're gonna do the two bottom ones. The next thing you want to do is grab your 10 millimeter wrench. And come outside to the actual unit. Disconnect the electricity, all the connectors. Ooh, that one's broken. And then you're going to want to start taking out your brake lines.
it's a little time consuming, we'll probably fast forward through this. Don't worry about the little bit of drips, it's nothing, there's nothing you can do about it, it's gonna happen. Then you just kind of move these aside, give it a wiggle. done. 